Here goes nothing. The fill hose is in. Running water is a big milestone. You're coming too. From Washington State to now sunny California. We've been at it for five years. It began with selling our previous boat and taking that money to buy tools and build a shed. We assembled keel pieces, poured the ballast, and raised all 16 frames in the first six months. There's a boat in there. Now, half a decade later, and at a slower but steady pace, we're in the water. We're salt and tar, and this is our life. Like, subscribe, and support if you can. Huh. All is taped. So I'm gonna be painting the starboard side and the port side. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more time to think about if I wanna paint the aft or the foreface something different. But I got a bunch of paint in and a huge thank you to any of you out there that did purchase them off of the Amazon wish list. It was super awesome to get a lot of packages of paint in. The goal is to get the interior not, not like perfectly done with, you know, all the things that we had kind of originally thought that we might do with the interior. It, to kind of not do that, but make it easier on ourselves and make it look less like a construction zone sooner and just start painting some stuff and um, start making it look more homey on this on, on a simple side and then down the road you know we can make it better or we can panel things like having paint on the walls doesn't mean we can't panel the cabin walls to look like the cabin ceiling which was the original intent and that's why we hadn't you know done anything in here and it's just been a, a plywood box <laughs> for so long yeah now everything's taped off so one thing left to do now is shake up some paint <laughs> Deciding to paint the interior, giving it a more finished look, has inspired us to make more home improvements. Living on a boat you're still building doesn't leave much room for even the simplest creature comforts. Garrett works on one of the most basic needs. Here goes nothing. Water. Mm -hmm. Which means another hole for the deck fill. I just started with a tiny little hole, so I can go up on deck and make sure that my center line is where I want before I drill the big donkey hole. We'll need to epoxy it before I can install it. I kind of forgot about that. Ah. It's like, I'm going to put it all in tonight. <laughs> I'm just going to work the size of the drill bit up to the uh, size of the drill bit in the hole saw. Oh. So that when I start with the hole saw, it doesn't drift at all. Because you just try to ream a, a larger drill bit through a small hole, it might drift a little bit. Okay. Look at me, I've kept every single one of these. <laughs> That's amazing. Best I've ever done. <laughs> Lay 
clear one. Yep. So that's the planking and one of the layers of plywood. There it is. Garrett's in the middle of cutting the hole. He's making really good progress today on basically our fresh water system for uh, drinking. And I've finished as much as I'm gonna finish today on painting the two cabin walls because it gets pretty stinky in here and we would like to sleep a sound sleep, not just pass out because the fumes are so strong. So I'm slowly cleaning up everything in here. Garrett's sanding the hole and I'm gonna mix up a little bit of epoxy for him. And then he'll put that on there. And then I think we'll make some dinner. Maybe a shower. Ooh, a beer in the shower and then dinner. Oh, now I'm excited. That wasn't me. <laughs> All right, we are back to work, back to painting, final coat on this. And we've got our buddy Shing here who's helping fill some more holes. Nice big painter's tray of putty there. Making some happy trees. <laughs> Today we'd make a scene that's very happy. Maybe there's a happy tree, evergreen tree. He lives right there. Isn't that a nice little tree? Smiling trees. And we can see Garrett's booty out here. Ah! What are you doing? Um, I'm installing the deck fill for the water tank. I've got it dry fit and got the screws. Ow, it's blinding. <laughs> See, that's why I don't like stainless steel hardware. <laughs> one of the reasons. But we couldn't find a bronze one. Somebody gave us this for free, so beggars can't be choosers. Uh, I got it dry fit, screws drilled. So I'm just laying down some tape and then I'm gonna pull it back off, put a bunch of, I'll probably use the Sika Flex 291 and then Squeeze it down. So, just put the water fill in. The underside of this is like really concave, so I just put a ton of Sikaflex in there and just taped it, just let it overflow, and then I'll just let it dry and then come with a razor blade and slice around it and then pull the tape, and it should be nice and clean. Came up nicely from all around the screw heads, so it should be really well sealed. And now there's a twig in it. I also think I'm learning to let things go that really don't matter. I just took way too long figuring out which way I wanted to put it so like where the the water mark was and where the fill cap when it's all the way fastened so it's lined up nicely with the deck. I didn't look when I put it back on and put it on sideways, but end of the day, it makes no difference at all. So it's not coming back off. I hope I don't have any paint on my face. Oh, fear in my face, much better. All right, so. I got all of the painting on the cabin walls. Can't wait to peel off the tape. And Shane got all of our little screw holes. So once that all dries and cures, we can sand it and keep painting.
decided to add one more coat, but I think now I'm done and I can remove the tape. Since the interior is mine to do as I please, I break out my sketchbook. I want the boat to be colorful, eclectic, and warm. It's not just a boat, it's our home. And it's time to bring that to the forefront. Hey. Hi. Hi again. Good. Tape's off. Oh, yeah. Alright, so I've just finished the... Um, like hooking everything up for the uh, water tank and electrical's not run, it's not finished, but everything's plumbed up. And the fill hose is in. I want to fill it up and see if it holds water. <laughs> it's all right. Ooh. Let's do it. Okay, oh, not down, not down there. That's, that's not at all where we wanted to go. Oh boy. God, this is hard to do one-handed. Set up camera inside. Get a little light. Oh. Let's do it. I hear water. It's nice and dry up here. That's just epoxy, not water. <laughs> Dry, dry. It seems nice and dry so far. We got water. We got water. <laughs> For the first time ever on Red Aviva, we have fresh water going into a tank, which is plumbed back to our filters. I just need to put in the faucet. That'll be quick, but I just need to, also I just need to run some 12 volt back to the pump. That guy right there. So that's easy. All the hard work's done. So it's pretty awesome. First deck fill. doing <laughs> I'm installing our first faucet for our pressure water system which is super exciting because it's also it's our drinking water spigot that goes through our filtration system here the trifecta over there yeah which will be great because we're very thankful to Ruth's parents for letting us go over there like every week and fill up our five gallon water jugs, but it's gonna be really nice just to be able to put the hose from the dock into our tank <laughs> and just have fresh drinking water. Orientation of the sink there, the faucet still good? Yeah, perfect. It's tucked back here a little bit. Nice and tall, perfect for a glass. Uh, oh yeah! Woo! What's next? The electrical to the water pump? Well, first things first, I'm gonna hook up the 
the feed line uh, from the filters to that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here's our feed line. Moment of truth. Oh, yeah. We're in. We're in. Oh. Ow. Come on out, you hobbit. Are we ready for a trial run or do you have to do power? I have to run the electrics real quick. Okay. While Garrett's doing that, I'm a painting fiend. Okay. And add our first contrasting color. Uh. I'm gonna set this up to do a, like a time lapse. What do you think? I'm in love, I'm in love. You like it? I love it. It's perfect. <laughs> I like it because it's almost like bluish. Mm hmm. Yeah, it looks cool next to the almond. It's just like smoky. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you like it too. Garrett wasn't too sure when I said charcoal, but this chalked paint looks great on the bare plywood. This is just my base that will support my vibrant ideas to come. All right, Ruth's gonna do the honors of putting on our first label on our instrument panel, or whatever it's called. That thing. You can put this sticker on that thing. Water right. pressure. These are pretty cool. They glow in the dark, which should be really awesome. We we literally just talked about water pressure or fresh water pump, and we just decided we were gonna use fresh water pump. Look, I put it back. Put it back, and it's, yeah. Where's the fresh one? <laughs> Same spot it was. Whoa, it's super glowing. Two minutes ago. Fresh water pump. <laughs> spot number one, huh? Don't mess it up. <laughs> Thank you. That's pretty good. Boom. Fresh water pump. See, we can see it glowing dark. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome! We're gonna have our first switch! I can't wait to push it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> ready. Are you Just ready? Trying to think of everything, if I did everything right. Make sure I plugged yeah i plugged that one that's just a wide open t that's plugged that's open that's closed i think okay ready <gasps> i hear things things are moving look here i'll look over here Out violently yet? Nope. Sounds like it's coming up to pressure now. Man, that's quiet. Really quiet. That's nice. Woo! Up to pressure. That's the quietest pump I've ever had. <laughs> Probably don't want to drink the first stuff that comes out of the filter. Are we ready? <laughs> Are we ready? Oh, it farted. <laughs> oh, that's why, because it's a carbon filter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that does not look appetizing. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, that's just that hose down there. I can yeah. secure that. Clanking. Yeah. Do it again. <laughs> that's just kind of tucked away temporarily. For the time being, just when I was getting everything sorted. That pump's so quiet. It's really quiet. Most pump, all the pumps I've ever had and they turn on, it's just like <laughs> <laughs> Serious pressure too. Yeah. Like 
Want to see full blast? Oh, uh, sure. Wow! This is what happens to our home when we do any project. <laughs> this was all super clean this morning. <laughs> yeah, I bet the cloudiness is just because it has the, uh, the thing, the last stage that adds all the minerals. All right, first sip. Tastes like mineral water. Yeah? <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> because we're gonna have a water maker and that strips everything. Yeah. And just filters everything out of it. So having this to add what you want back into it, that's a good thing. Running water is a big milestone. <clears throat> it's such a luxury. <clears throat> Ever since we were like, moved on to a boat full time when we turned 18 like i came to appreciate how awesome it is when you just like come into a house and you just and the water just comes out yeah it's like what <laughs> <laughs> excited to install it. I forgot to put the fuse in. Whoops. Safety glasses should be worn to protect your eyes while drilling the faucet hole. Oh, shit. <laughs> Number one. Uh, if you're gonna be dumb, you better be tough. <laughs> if you get knocked down, you gotta get back up. Ow, I hit my head on the bottom of the faucet. That's fucked. You're not, you're not supposed to get back up yet. If you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. If you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough.